Portrait Artist of the Year. These are paintings that did not succeed, but they may have won the program anyway. Let's get started. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. I'm not really sure what to title this video, but I felt it was time to look at where we are. I'm currently recapping season four of Portrait Artist of the Year. And there are, have been some controversial work that's been done up till now, and I thought I would share that. It's sort of a blooper reel, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, first of all, I have to say these artists are all brave to do this program at all. And, um, but I'm baffled. I admire their confidence, but I'm baffled, absolutely baffled at some of the decisions the judges make and, and how some of these people got on the program in the first place. I, I just, I keep saying, I find myself shaking my head saying, I don't get it, I don't get it. Please, somebody explain this to me. So get ready, hold on to your hats, because here are some of the worst of what we've seen so far from seasons two through four. And if someone can explain these to me, I'd really appreciate it. Understanding art is subjective. Everybody likes something else. But I stand by the criterion that this is a competition and it has to have a resemblance to the sitter to some degree to move forward. All right, let's get started. All right, here's the first one. I'm not going to remember all of these models' names because we've, we're on season four now, so that's a lot of people. They're all celebrities in Britain to some extent, usually actors sometimes writers, but usually actors. If they're not doing Game of Thrones or Harry Potter or Shakespeare, then they'll appear on this program. So there's the first one, which is all out of proportion for me. I like the painter's style, but you look, if you go back and look at the sitter, it, it doesn't, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Here's the second one. Take a look at this. If you don't know this actor, I'm familiar with this actor's face, but let's look at the portrait that was done in the four hours. And it that does not look anything like him, nothing like him at all. And I stand by it. You have to have a resemblance. This is Portrait Artist of the Year. Woo, so frustrating to me. Anyway, the next one up is Imelda Stanton, who I'm just finished watching in season six of The Crown, where she's the queen. And oh my God, she looks at least 30 years older uh, on that series than she appears here. So good for them in, in terms of their makeup choices and whatnot. And here is the reveal for her. And once again, uh, my jaw dropped. I just thought, I don't understand it. I don't understand how this could be acceptable work to be on this program. Because we know thousands of people want to be on this program. And I know they're looking for a variety. I know they're looking for something different, but this does not work. All right, here's the next one. Uh, and there were two in this particular episode which were disturbing to me. The first one is coming up right now. It's not, it's not terrible, but again, there's no resemblance. And as a matter of fact, this person goes on to be in the finals. I mean the real finals, the, the last of the three painters in the program uh, for the season, which was absolutely shocking to me. Here's the other one, which was done during that same episode and with the same model, which is just flat and, and shows no, no technical skill at all that I can tell. Now the worst was for Stanley Tucci, where he covered his face and um, you might think that he was overwhelmed, but he wasn't. I really think what it was, was he covered his face because he saw these three paintings revealed that were supposed to look like him and he realized, I need to say something positive about these things because it was really, really bad. So let's look at the three paintings of Stanley Tucci and keep in mind that one of these does win the episode, which I'm still shaking my head about. So here's the first one up. Again, it has features that he has, but it doesn't look anything like Stanley Tucci. It just, it, it completely doesn't work. Here's another one. Does this look like Stanley Tucci to you? It sure doesn't to me. As well as, it's just weak painting overall. It's just, you know, poor quality. Oh, anyway. Um, I don't have a problem with them not 
being the be having the best work in the world. What I don't like is how seriously it's taken and how some really great painters are passed over. And here's the one that, that won the particular episode that Stanley Tucci was in. And it's a good painting. I, I certainly think it's a good painting, but that does not look like Stanley Tucci to me. I'm sure it looks like somebody's grandfather, but um, uh, please, I, 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 I don't get it. And why that isn't addressed, I mean, it needs to be addressed in the program. It's really important. All right, here's the next one. Now, this is a the next uh, very, very handsome young man. And this was one of the responses to painting him in four hours. It looks absolutely nothing like him, nothing like him. And I like this kind of painting when it's done right. All these color value swap outs, you can use color instead of neutrals, but not if you're putting them in the wrong place and have your proportions all incorrect. Here's another one which Nah, I thought would would produce some really strong paintings, but um, one of them that you're going to see here, again, it's a good painting, but it has no resemblance to her at all. And I have a real problem with that. And this one did go on to the finals of that particular episode. So my, my argument is that they're being rewarded for some of this uh, poor, poor work. Now here is um, this particular actor who has those are fly ties behind him and I think he was so shocked when these paintings got turned around he's got to talk about this how could I possibly talk about this I've said before what you do if you meet an ugly baby you know the mother's holding their lovely child and you say oh it's such a cute outfit or I love his smile or he has beautiful eyes and that's what this that's virtually what you're down to here and so the fellow said well you know I really like the colors well you know, I can say that about uh, many things. So that was that was one of the disappointments for him. Here's the second one. That's it's not even it. It's so far from looking like him or being in any way a completed painting. And it doesn't. We've seen lots of completed paintings. We've even seen some paintings that are extremely minimal, but they will look like the sitter. And that's just not happening here. So that's why I'm calling this a blooper year real. And you can see, I'll see, I still get a little upset about it. All right, here's the last one. Uh, in this particular episode, two of the paintings of him were quite good. The one that I really thought they should choose, they did not, and pick something that was a little bit more, uh, less less brave, and, and I was going to say insipid, but you know, it, it, it wasn't. It was a soft painting, but it, it looked like him. So let's go on to the next one. And does this look like the man you just saw in the photograph? No, no, it does not. All right, so that is where I stand on this program. I love the program, but I really don't understand some of these choices. So that's my first blooper reel. I'm sure there are going to be more to come. And I will also probably make videos about the really great stuff because most of the time it's really great stuff. Um, it also, once in a while, if one of my paintings really tank, uh, sometimes I'll think, well, remember the, the folks on that program? But I'll get up and do it again right away. I cannot live with something that is inadequate. So well, it would just burn me up to have that be on, uh, on, on television or streamed in some way over and over and over again. So remember to keep the wet your paper white, your paints wet. I will be recapping the next episode that's coming up, which I believe is season four, episode four. Uh, please join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.